investigates a local man who claims he's Michael Jackson's nephew and can make people's dreams come true. But many people claim he's a phony, and they say he used his supposed celebrity to con them out of their life savings. Todd Ulrich uncovered the real story behind the Jackson claims and the damage he's done. Next to Jermaine Jackson, the man who claims to be his son and Michael Jackson's nephew. And I'm part of a legendary family. At many Orlando Magic games, Geppetto Jackson had high-profile, pricey courtside seats. His Facebook page is packed with celebrity connections. He performed in videos with rappers. And Action 9 found he convinced at least 15 people he could make their dreams come true. Christina Keenholz said Jackson promised her a role on a Disney TV series and showed her contracts. It was going to be a Disney show. Um, it was going to be kind of like a high school theme, kind of like Saved by the Bell again. Over the next five months, Christina said Jackson needed money for company expenses. Her payments to Jackson totaled $60,000 before Christina discovered his celebrity was a cruel fantasy. We just feel so stupid, and it just makes me more mad. Christina and her husband had borrowed the money against their farm in Oklahoma. He's been living hell. I mean, he's pretty much destroyed everything. That Our investigation found his real name is Andre Van, and in Connecticut, prosecutors charged him with larceny after a victim said Van conned her out of $20,000. After that arrest, more people said they were victims, claiming Van promised them celebrity connections, then cheated them out of $400,000. Brandy Burns and her parents paid Van $140,000. It was supposed to be an investment after Brandy said Van hired her to run his entertainment company. I just felt hurt. Because we wouldn't be in this if it wasn't for me. We found Andre Van remains in Central Florida at this home in Kissimmee. He declined to meet with us, then by phone Van refused to discuss his Jackson family claim and denied misleading anyone, you see, like he oh, did on YouTube. I did not impersonate anything. The Burns, Christina, and others have gone to the police, but were told it's a contract dispute. Just make it right. Just, you know, stop scamming people. Now, Van entered a diversion program, so if he pays the Connecticut victim back, the charge is dropped. His attorney told me Van is paying restitution and will complete the program to clear his name and give others their money back, too. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. Vanessa. Absolutely.